Skywatch Media News for July the 12th, 2021. The magnetic field that protects our planet has been weakening across wide stretches of area from Africa to South America, and the phenomenon has yet to be fully understood. We know that the Earth's magnetic field is complex and dynamic, as it helps to protect life on our planet from the effects of cosmic radiation and charged particles. The molten metals in the Earth's core create electric currents, which generates the electromagnetic field of the planet. A significant alteration in the electrical currents could lead to increased weakening in the magnetic field. The decline in the protective shield gives rise to the speculation that Earth is on the verge of an imminent pole shift. According to data comprised by the European Space Agency, in May of the year 2020, the magnetic field has lost nearly 10% of its strength on a global average over the past 200 years, and the weakening is continuing to decline every century. As Earth's magnetic field fails, so goes the satellites beginning with the communication satellites located in the highest orbit before ending with cosmic rays bombarding all life on Earth. Just as a threat of a super solar storm is real and likely to happen as it has in our past, so too we face the prospect of a failed shield if it were to decay significantly during this century. From what we can ascertain, a severe decline in the field produced a magnetic pole shift 774,000 years ago, but since that time there has been numerous occasions in which the poles have nearly reversed. These are called excursion events, in which there is a significant drop in strength, where we do not quite reach the dipole threshold of between two and three units that is needed for a reversal. The excursion events are when we are most at risk as the field decays and then recovers. The last excursion took place 42,000 years ago, which led to climate shifts and environmental cataclysms, and evidence would suggest that we are heading in that direction again. We are already seeing the effects of a weakened magnetic field on our low-orbiting satellites. In the Atlantic, between Africa and South America, there is a huge region of the magnetic field that is three times weaker than the field strength of the poles. Referred to as the South Atlantic Anomaly, it is a region that is consistently experiencing electron failures, and no one has a clue as to the origin of the weak field region or what it may be producing. It is important to keep in mind that a continued decrease in the geomagnetic field will be more dramatic than the reversal itself, because the decline will involve the release of cosmic radiation and energy particles into our atmosphere, and the consequences could be quite dire in areas where hotspots are developing. So we now know that the Earth's magnetic field is declining at a rate that is disconcerting since it is thought to be a catalyst for a pole reversal. And since the magnetic poles drive planetary mechanics, when they change course, so does most everything else. Not only are the magnetic poles shifting, but so is our climate. Regions located just a few degrees above the Earth's equator are experiencing below freezing temperatures and snow, while much further to the north, in British Columbia and the Pacific Northwest, an unprecedented heat dome persists with temperatures exceeding 120 degrees. These are temperatures you would expect to see in the desert of Saudi Arabia or in Death Valley but now they are happening in the most unexpected places. When the pole shift does occur, the electrical currents in the Earth's liquid iron outer core will weaken, since it is the magneto that generates the magnetic poles, as well as the magnetosphere that protects us from harmful cosmic rays during a reversal. 
At this moment, the Earth's magnetosphere has been reduced by about 20%, and it's still declining. When the poles migrate out of the strong magnetic field lines into the weaker lines, the migration will accelerate through the weaker lines. Because the magnetic field is so complex, the timeline for the shift to occur is uncertain. But there is evidence, as I mentioned earlier, that does provide a clue. During the failed migrations, called excursion events, the magnetic poles had shifted almost completely within a matter of weeks. But then they failed to hold at their new positions, and they returned to their original spots. Because the last reversal took an additional 450,000 years to occur, with the average being 320,000, the process could take some time. And there is no guarantee that once it reverses, that it will reestablish a strong magnetosphere. Some of you may recall that the planet Mars had lost its magnetic poles long ago, which left the atmosphere vulnerable to cosmic and solar radiation, which eventually destroyed its atmosphere and depleted its water reservoirs. If the Earth undergoes a prolonged time period with little or no protection from cosmic rays, it will both damage the atmosphere and drastically change our climate, along with increasing the rate of cancer among all bio-life forms on the planet. Does this sound familiar? It should. How about an axis shift, where continental shorelines will be lost while new land will rise from the sea? The media recently published reports that indicate that the Earth's axis is shifting due to changes in the climate. A chaotic magnetic reversal along with a rotational axis shift when it occurs will be the most significant event in human history. And the saddest aspect of such a scenario is that the vast majority of Earth's inhabitants are virtually unaware or misinformed on what is taking place at this time. And possibly it may all be by design. On July 7th, a meteor blasted through the Earth's atmosphere over Taiwan shortly after 12.02 a.m. local time. The Lulin Observatory, located at the summit of Lulin Mountain, recorded a meteor erupting into a ball of fire. In a span of 50 seconds, the meteor was seen streaking across the sky as it ignited into a series of explosions during its descent. With each explosion, the fireball grew bigger and brighter. Eventually, it went dark and disappeared below the horizon. Residents of Taipei were stunned by the unusual atmospheric phenomenon. Some of the witnesses claimed that they heard a sonic boom following each flash of light that lit up the sky. The space rock that fell through the atmosphere is believed to have been a bolid, which according to the Taipei Astronomical Museum, is very rare in Taiwan. The bolid was reported to have been traveling at a very low altitude. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and always keep looking to the sky.